All right, we need to have a talk. Why is it that some traders become profitable in a matter of months in their first trading year and other traders, it takes them two, three, four, five, even six years to really meet profitability and make a lot of money? Now, I have literally been asking myself this question since the day I started trading. Since the day that I came into the markets, I always looked at the super profitable traders, the guys that had done it the quickest, and I asked myself, what is it about these guys that has allowed them to do it quicker? What is it that has gotten them to the point they're at in that duration? of time and it's never really been a clear answer there's never really been a clear set of characteristics again I, I can look at the super generic stuff and I can be like it's discipline or it's approach to the market or it's consistency and I can just give you these generic answers but I've really looked and studied this and I genuinely have a dead ass answer for you trust me bro What's good, my people? It's your boy Daniel Fex here. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new around here, please subscribe. Please show me some love in the comments. Follow my Instagram. It's Daniel Fex. It's going to be popped up right here. But yeah, just watch the video right up until the end because I'm going to be dropping bangers each and every week. Now, listen, what the fuck was I just talking about? <laughs> now, in my opinion, profitability or becoming a profitable trader is largely dependent on your psychology. It's not a technical thing. Everyone knows your strategy is not really too relevant because if you have a profitable strategy and you have bad psychology, you're still not going to be a good trader it's all entirely in your head it's all in your head sonny it's all based off of your emotions the same way that if you have great psychology and a strategy that's not as profitable you still be able to trade that profitably because you're just able to manage it a lot better and your approach is much more systematic so cool we know that trading is mostly psychology so the first question that i initially asked myself is if trading is majority psychology is there some profession is there some sort of career that someone may have had before they came into trading that could have benefited them in trading well i sat there and i thought about this for a very long while and to me the only things that really pop up that are very similar to trading and trading psychology are pretty much gambling being a professional poker player professional blackjack player uh, and being in some sort of other trading industry would give you an advantage in becoming a trader because you've experienced some sort of life psychology and you have some level of experience with that now obviously if you look at the large majority of profitable successful traders um, I don't think I know any profitable successful traders that are actually professional poker players. So that wasn't really a very relevant connection that I made. So the second thing that I looked at is the amount of capital they had when they came into the market. The amount of money they had when they first stepped into trading how much money did they have and how much money could they afford to lose? Because another aspect to trading and something that I've learned over the past four and a half years of becoming a trader is that the markets will teach you way better than anything else can teach you. The markets themselves will teach you better than any course, better than any mentorship, any program. Learning firsthand and learning from your mistakes is always gonna be the quickest way to progress and make progress. Now think about it this way. Let's say it takes you 10 funded accounts 10 funded account challenges for you to learn X amount of lessons and to get over your bad psychology and start adapting your trading plan to the way that is meant to be for you. Cool. Go, 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 now, these 10 funded accounts can be taken in any duration. You can take them over the course of one year, over two years, or you can take them in the course of six months. Now, I don't necessarily mean sit there and spam funded accounts and full margin and full risk, but I mean that some people that came into the market that had more money than others were able to take these funded accounts more consecutively without as much fear, without as much external psychology, which means that they were able to learn the lessons faster and actually make a quicker progression because they just didn't have as much pressure riding on what they were doing. In comparison to if you take a completely new trader, someone who let's say has 500 pounds in a bank account, they take one funded account challenge, which is a 50K my Forex fund that's like one third of their bank account gone. And they can only realistically take another two challenges until they're bankrupt. They then lose that money, they're back to square one and they have to spend another two, three months working to make that disposable income again. So they can then take another challenge. So really and truly, they've spent the same amount of time working, the same amount of time trading, the same amount of time taking these challenges, but one trader was able to take them in a shorter time and the other trader was able to take them in a much more wider extended period and it simply just means the rate of progression is going to be different for both traders now linking into what i previously said another aspect to what really makes a trader progress quicker is the fact that risk and your risk tolerance is going to be very very crucial when it comes to the rate you can progress at again i pretty much just said this in my previous point but someone who has an additional 10 15 20 000 disposable income is going to find it a lot easier to trade systematically and to not be emotional and to not experience
experience as much bad psychology when taking a funded account or when taking some sort of account challenge in comparison to someone who does not have that money, who does not have an additional 10, 20, 30,000 disposable income, who is entirely reliant on trading to make them that money. They're going to be so much more invested, so much more emotional, so much more desperate to take the trades and make the money because they have no other option. And this is why nine times out of 10, if you really look at the very big traders, if you really look at the very successful traders, they will tell you firsthand that the reason they were able to become profitable nine times out of 10, again, this is not always the case, but it's because they had something else on the side, some sort of other source of income that was funding their trading, which allowed them to relax on their trading and take better high probability position. For example, look at Jade Cap. This guy withdrew over half a million for prop firms last year, um, eight figure trader or seven, eight figure trader. And he was literally working a full time nine to five, which was very high paying before he moved over to trading and made that transition. And his time span was a lot quicker than a lot of other traders. Now, another aspect that really goes into whether or not you're going to become a profitable trader in a short duration of time is what your expectations are coming into the market. I feel like a large majority of trading is managing your expectations. If you come into the market and you expect to make a crazy return and you, you want to average 10, 15% a month and you want to trade every day and take multiple trades per day and you want to win 80, 90% of your trades, having that sort of negative expectation is obviously going to affect the way that you trade and the way that you approach the market. And having bad or unrealistic expectations is simply just going to encourage bad psychology. It's going to increase your trading journey and decrease your rate of progression, which obviously is not what you're after. In comparison to someone who has their expectations correctly managed, they know exactly what it is that they should be doing, what it is that is realistic, what it is that they can be expecting on a weekly, monthly and a yearly basis. They're much better off when they come into the market because they know how to manage their expectations and they're just not doing anything silly. Now, in your opinion, what do you believe makes a profitable trader? What is one characteristic, one aspect of trading that you truly believe can make you a profitable trader in the shortest duration of time? Let me know down in the comments, but that was it for the video. So if you've been around here for this long, like, subscribe, all of that shit. I'm gonna see you in the next video.